Is there a new entertainment genre in the making? Could web series be the next big thing? I love television, I love video, I love storytelling. And that's why I have a YouTube channel. Please do subscribe. I'm experimenting here different kinds of videos. And because I love video, I also went to Webfest Berlin. And in this video here, I will share my top three picks from the festival. Um, I will only show very short clips. Uh, links to full episodes you will find below. So I flew over to Berlin and Webfest Berlin, according to the website, is an international festival dedicated to presenting, recognizing and advancing short-form digital series from around the world. So yeah, that's a lot. I was there for two days. I saw about 60 episodes of different miniseries um, and a lot of clips. There were panels and stuff. I just kind of narrowed my selection down to three series that I want you to see as well, at least, so we can have a chat about them down below in the comments. My first one is called Terra 404. It's from Quebec, Canada, and the grand jury loved it too. I mean, I think by far it was the best and most interesting one of all the series I saw that weekend. You know? So Terror 404 is a horror web series. It's really connected to the era we live in. Um, each episode is based on technology that we use daily. It really made me jump in my seat and I want to see more than just this one episode. And that's always a good sign of a great TV series. I mean web series. Just like in YouTubing, it's important for web series to totally feel connected with the communities, the viewers. Um, and it's not only about traditional storytelling, like in um, old-fashioned TV series, where you relate to your audience that way. You also need to connect via uh, social media and the platforms. And Terror 404 does it in a very clever ways, uh, both in storytelling and also um, just the topic itself. I mean, I think I will never again uh, look at uh, an error message the same way as before seeing the series. Kind of like swimming in the ocean as comfortably um, is not going to be possible after you've seen Jaws. Uh, that kind of a same feeling I got from Terror 404. But now, on to the next one. Uh, a very different example. It's my pick number two and it's called Super Super. And I picked it because of a very, very clever style of animation. Super Super is so clever, so simple, so funny. I am sure music videos will copycat this clever style of animation really soon. So if you want to see the original, please do go and uh, see the full episodes. Links to everything I mentioned in this video, to full episodes, are below. Please do go and watch them. But now on to my last third pick. It's called Funk. And Funk is not just it's not just one video. It's uh, it's uh, it's really the mothership of all web series uh, in the German-speaking world. Hard of heart gets da auf Menschen. Proteine. Funk is a web TV service for young viewers from the German public broadcasters ARD and ZDF. Their budget last year was 45 million, which is a lot in the web series world. I saw a lot from Funk at Webfest, um, but this one was my favorite. It's, uh, it's a project for uh, young Muslims living in Germany. So yes, pretty much all of the web series at the festival 
uh, they were funded by taxpayers' money in their own territories. So, but this Muslim series here really made me think, wouldn't, wouldn't this exactly be the kind of content that brands should want to sponsor? I mean, they should rush to do this. This, this is, it is, it is, it is funny, it's informative, it's positive. Yes, it might seem niche, but it got my attention and I'm a, I'm a Christian white cis male. So uh, it, it, it makes me think if there's a commercial opportunity here. Please don't get me wrong, many, many new ideas in the entertainment business have actually started with the public broadcasters. I mean, for example, uh, the reality series Survivor, which launched the whole genre, really, um, it premiered on SVT, the Swedish public broadcaster. And now most recently, Scum on NRK is, is creating a whole new way of um, writing, creating and thinking about drama. Um, on, on the new platforms. So I think web series, even though right now they are pretty much funded by public broadcasters, could be, become the beginning of something new. Uh, I mean, once the commercial solutions um, become more, how would I put it, more viable on these new platforms, also the content itself could flourish. But this is the phase where we experiment. It's it's not a business yet. Uh, it's just a pioneering phase. But what do you think? Do you agree with me? Disagree? Uh, please do comment below. Um, this video was made for the comments below. I want to have a talk about the web series with you. Thank you Webfest Berlin. I had a good time. And thank you for watching this video almost till the end. <laughs> and till the next time we meet. Please do remember to love yourself, because if you can't love yourself, how in the hell are you going to love somebody else? See ya. Bye. Ciao.